everybody outside of the YouTube world. It is I, your conquistador, Javier, and I am hanging out with the mightiest panel of them all on a Silver Age Sunday. What's going on, guys? If you have your book, going on? If you have your books, show them off. Keep it in. Oh, Bo, that's a great book. Yeah, <laughs> yeah oh, man, that's awesome. Oh, Buff. Hey. Come on, awesome. this. <laughs> We got some great books, man. Awesome. Keeping the Hall uh, Halloween feel. Yeah. I got a little bit of a... This is actually the, I think, Brazilian or Portuguese, Spanish version of Crisis on oh, that's cool, Very Olympics. cool. Yeah, yeah. And we're also that doing... The cover. This is Dark Side. Or not Dark Side, the Anti-Monitor. Anti-Monitor. That's his first appearance, correct? I believe so. Um, if, if it's not in, earlier in the run, it should be this one. But um, Nice. This is uh, uh, we're also doing Copper Age Artists, the Mount Rushmore of Copper Age Artists, and George Perez. Uh, I won't be able to feature him, but I just wanted to, you know, give him a little bit of an honorable mention. What you got, Jeff? I got a uh, money shot that came out this week from Vault Comics. Pretty decent read about scientists wanting to screw aliens, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> pretty funny but like, it, it was all if you guys read sex criminals before it's similar to that but a little different but it's similar tim seeley right yeah tim seeley the person that created uh hack and slash uh re re, re uh, no not reaver but what the hell is that other one that she, he created some some uh zombie list the zombie thing that he created too and uh dark red the, the vampire one he created yeah, I'm. I'm actually really interested in reading Money Shot. I didn't pick it yeah, up. But I'll, it's, I'll, not a, it's not a bad read. It's actually a decent read. If I if I was you, I would try to find this cover here. It's an homage to uh, Fantastic Four. I think like 144, I think, or 444, something like that. Uh, I remember somebody saying something like that. So, I the best. I, I think this is the best cover out of all of them. Yeah, for sure. And the Carla Cohen one was good too. Yeah, Carla Cohan one was good, but that's the one I got. I like that one. Yeah. I like that yeah. for homage. Yeah, oh, it sold out pretty quick. Hi, Leo, with this vault of Ooh. evil. I got my vault yeah. of evil. I can't remember who did this, but it's a classic horror Halloween flavor book. And this is what I went for my first book of the day, Bronze Age. That's awesome, man. Hello, everybody. <laughs> What's going on? What's going on, Stay Puff? What's going on, everybody? Um, I got the anthologies of horror. I saw this at my shop yesterday. The cover caught my attention, so I decided to pick it up and, you know, probably give it a read. You know, I looked through it. The art wasn't too impressive, but I'm hoping the story will catch my attention. But the cover is pretty it's dope. Pretty cool. That's a magazine size book. No, it's a regular comic, a re regular comic size book. But you know, once again, I'm. I'll just throw this out there, like. Cover paper quality is far superior than what Marvel is putting out. You know, I keep saying that all the damn time. Yeah. Why is it that these small publishers Dude, put out better it. paper quality than Marvel? Tell me about it. You're right. That's why. So that's a new book. Uh, yeah. Oh. I don't know when it came out, but I saw it. In, I saw it in um the shelf, and I decided to just grab it. You know, Dude, give it a try. Give it a shot. That's yeah. awesome, man. Nice. We also got Boat Right Family and Comics. What's up? Hey, I got uh, Astonishing Tales 23. This is the second appearance of Fin Fang Foom. And uh, I've been wanting this book for a while now, and I've been eyeballing it on eBay and stuff, and I actually went and looked, and I'd already had it. <laughs> no way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I just saved myself a lot of money. Dude, that's awesome. You, dude, when you showed that book, I I, I was like, oh, because guess what? I was looking for it too, man. Oh, and I know exactly what that is, the second appearance of Fing Fang Foom. And I was on eBay looking for different copies and whatnot. So the minute you yeah. showed I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's a beautiful book, man. That is a beautiful I book. That. I mean, it, it's, not, it's not in like pristine shape. It's, oh, it's, it's nothing happy, some, man. It got yeah. some wear and tear, but other than that, man, it. It looks great. great. Yeah, it presents great. Awesome. 
you know, if you've been seeing the horror books I've been posting on Instagram, yeah. some of them ain't in, in good shape and stuff like that, like the recent one, The Crypt Shadows. But I was like, man, it's a beautiful, bad-looking shape book. You know, I, I, I like it. You know, it's, I yeah, it's think warm, that it's beat up, but it just, yeah, it's, it's still in this, good condition. It's still readable. This is not a 9.8, guys. This is like a 5, maybe a 6. It doesn't, it just looks really nice because... Yeah, because the Mylar. It does. It, no, Mylar. the Mylar. It's not the <laughs> alone, but it, I try to look for books that don't have a ton of creases or you know the, uh, the, the lines that cut cut across. Right. That's what I look for. It, but it's not a it's not a high grade book. This is like maybe a five or a six tops, but it presents beautiful. Yeah. You know? yeah. Um, yeah. Definitely does look like a very beautiful copy. Um, it is it's clean. Doesn't have a lot of color breaking creases or anything. That's what that's what I look for. Yeah, to what Sean said, um, it kind of gives those those books character, you know. Yeah, yeah that's who. You know. Yeah. Just uh shouting out the Conquistador comic book chat real quick. We got the immortal biggie shack showing up NWO style. Just like he does best. What's going on, Immortal Biggie Shack? Hopefully, we can show off some bangers that'll impress you. We have life with two YouTubers. Thanks for hanging out, sharing. Good Always morning. nice to see you. Hello, everybody in the chat. James Tamburo, um, super friendly member, uh, subbing everybody mm -hmm. up, showing everybody some love in the chat. Thank you, brother, for hanging out. Yes, sir. Um, and Steve hopped in here as well. Um, Where you at, I, man? <laughs> yeah, I mean, Robert, he should he should be coming shortly. We we will be having a special guest. Uh, we did showcase some um, Halloween horror themed books off um, as our first book, and we will be continuing to do that as it is you know, the Halloween season. Halloween is creeping up on us, getting closer and closer and closer. Do you guys have any plans or? Any of your shops doing any sales or anything like that? Yesterday, they were doing, I, didn't, I didn't hit them yeah. all. Yesterday. Yeah, yesterday, uh, yeah, yesterday, yesterday. yeah and t last weekend, I know the, t the oh. Tate's Halloween Tate's Tate's Halloween tent sale just passed. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's just around the Halloween time, not exactly on the on Halloween, but that just recently passed. But yesterday was the Halloween comic fest, sort of mm -hmm. like in a uh, national event. Uh, I know Stay Puff went, Jeff, I think you picked up some books. I wasn't able to pick up some books. Yeah, so I picked up a, I, I picked up some, but it wasn't a lot. But there's one book that everybody might want to pick up since uh, you're reading X-Men, uh, since since you guys read X-Men and Power of X and all that. It's the it's the Miles Morales one that's a free comic book day one. There's, there's a little small, like five, maybe five, five page, Thing about uh, the X Men in the back of uh, on the back of that thing, the free free comic book day one, because the guys at the shop actually looked through it and saw this. Uh, hey, you told telling everybody at the shop that came by that are X Men fans. Hey, you might want to pick this up and handed it to them. So I'm like telling you guys if you guys find yeah that one. There's a bed. There's a yep. Oh, yeah, stay yep. up. So That's awesome. Yep. So if you guys are big, big X Men guys, I will go pick it up. It might, be a, it might be a key. So that's the um, the Halloween comic book fest. It was a free mm -hmm. book. They were giving right. out free. There's like a promotion. Right, right, right. Out free books. Right, right. And one of the free books was Ultimate Fallout number right. four. Right. That's the Miles Morales one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's a bad. There's a so they do they do that every year. They put a little small backstory about the new stuff in in it. To not so people doesn't notice, and then my my boys ended up reading it and it goes, hey, if you if any of your guys you know any of your friends are a big X Men guys, you might want to let them know this might be a key. So go go pick it up. <laughs> That's cool. I did not know. So about I, know, that. I didn't know that either. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So I did knew you, you two were. I know you guys were reading House of X and everything. So. Yeah. Did you read through it, Sean? How many pages is it? Probably like five, like four, five, well, six, like, six like, pages. Because the yeah, art, I was one, it, that I was that page uh, <laughs> show, it, it goes to different art style on the next. Yeah. Oh. Yep. 
It's like a few pages more, and then that that's it. Like uh, one, two, three, four, five, seven pages. Okay. okay. And I mean, I know you haven't read it, but I guess it ties into the whole X Men one, um, the whole aftermath of House right. of X and Powers of Ten. So right. See, I I, I would probably be lost because I haven't read House of X and Powers yet. Right. So. Yeah, but you know, just to let you guys know, just to let everybody know, that's if you guys are been reading that stuff, you might want to pick that one up just in case. It might become a, it might become a comic Tom's hot hot on hot list, and you guys are gonna be like, "What the hell? I didn't pick it up." <laughs> <laughs> um, Jeff, I mean that's an easy pickup when you look at it, but no, no, I know. To be I honest, know, Jeff, right? I I, yeah. I kind of ran it about this last year. Is that yeah. I kind of wish Marvel would stop with the superhero. Like you could put the Miles Morales, but why can't I get like a Halloween comic fest of like a Tomb of Dracula book or yeah, Werewolf yeah, yeah. by Night? Like that, you know, some yeah. of the seventies horror books like like High Leah show and stuff. Use some of those for the Halloween comic fest uh, reprints. You know, it would have been nice to get at least one of those yeah. old seventies right. horror. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I agree. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all of the reprints were you were just superhero books. Um, yeah. Do you have any of the other ones that you picked up, um, like next year? I, I got the Swamp Thing one, and I got this uh, House of Fear from yeah. Dark Horse Comics. See, Dark Horse did it right. Dark Horse did it right. Why can't yeah? Marvel? Yeah, exactly. You know, some of the other publishers will put out some horror books and spooky stuff but marvel tends to stick to the superhero mm -hmm. and I, it was like that last year when i was going to multiple shops and then you had thor book you had a miss marvel book i'm like man i don't want miss well, marvel maybe, i don't read miss marvel I already i don't have that issue give me give me something from the 70s you know give me that tomb of dracula one halloween comic fest I'll, I'll get that in a heartbeat well, you never know. Maybe, maybe when Feige's in the in the driver's seat now. You may you may get some more next year. You never know. <laughs> maybe they'll get it right. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe for, yeah. Yeah. I trust Feige when it comes to movies. I don't know about the comics. And, but they, yeah, because he, 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 honestly, he's in the driver's seat now, so he's the in everything driver's seat. Yeah. The reprints have the the Halloween Comic Fest, mm -hmm. like logo on it, right? Yeah. Yeah, they'll, yeah. they'll have a free comic that says Halloween comic for, for Halloween Comic Fest. Mm -hmm. And on the big, big bold, bold letters on top of them. Do you have any of the ones? All I'm saying is they could, have, they could at least just put one one of those horror yeah. books from the 70s. I ain't saying all of them should be a 70s horror book. Just yeah. one. You could still put yeah. out your Miles Morales or your uh, Thor or Miss Marvel, but put out one horror book from the 70s each year. Yeah, it would be. Yeah, you know, they cool. do it half ass. They do it half ass just to do something, you know. Yeah, but even DC yeah. should do that too. You know what I mean? DC should put out, you know, their uh, their Swamp Things or what well, they do, but they'll put out the the older Swamp Thing stuff, you know. So we got comic collector in the chat. He's uh mentioning what? it's they're trying to sell current comics. You know, they don't want new horror. Yeah, you know, old horror. It's all about marketing. Yeah. It's all a. It's all a. Yeah money scheme for them i guess well free i can't wait until the joe, joe hill stuff so the joe hill the joe hill black label yeah. line starts i can't wait for that that's gonna be interesting yeah. we got james tamboro um not all of us are from florida the majority of us oh. are all of us are all of us all of us all of us in us the mightiest panel of them all are for sure mm -hmm. And we actually have a special guest joining the mightiest panel of them all today on a Silver Age Sunday. We have the G-Man, Robert. <laughs> What's going on, brother? I'm dying this week, you guys. I have no idea. <laughs> oh, I'm, man. I'm I just want to put a big shout out there. Jim, Jeff, thank you so much for last night. I really appreciate it. It was an awesome show. Sir, we got you. We got you back. Just the, I video. Didn't the, video, yeah. but the video you said didn't want to play. So. Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. Yeah, I'm like, oh, man. <laughs> I do have something cool to show you guys, though. A yeah, buddy of mine oh, stopped cool. by. A buddy of mine stopped by last night. And he goes to, like, he goes to all these, like, flea markets and garage sales and all this stuff. And he comes over periodically, and he knows what I like. And he just gives me this stuff. He 
found this in a free box. I got a bunch a free of box. in a free box. I got, um, all right. It's going to sound pretty random. Interesting. One out of here. No. Just some nice one comic book out of here that's like awesome. So got some Casper. Just blow me up really quick, but I'm just going to show it really quick. Definitely, man. Here's Casper. Okay. Decent shape. It's okay. Wow. You know, so that's an awesome cover. Yeah. Is that 12 center Casper? Yeah. Free. <laughs> Holy free. crap. He got this for free. He came over to my house and dropped this off. He's like, brother, happy birthday. I'm sorry I'm late. I go, dude, all good. <laughs> Look at this. Number two. Yeah, yeah. Dude, wow. he's in great shape, man. Yeah, wait. Uh, Myla I helps it too. This one's coverless. <laughs> I have the original of this. Yeah. This is the this oh, is coverless. Okay. Okay, but oh, really? okay. wait until you see this. I almost crap my pants. You ready? Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Three guys. What? Avengers. No way. What? Yes way. No way. What? It's in wow. rough shape. It's not the best shape. Like right here, it's pretty rough. Right uh, here, it's a little rough. It's in rough shape. But this is the first. This is the first I had. I can't see. Mole Man. What? What? Yeah. Mole Man. Issue nice. 17, you guys. I looked it up, right? Just to see out of curiosity. I really don't care. But just in this condition alone, in good condition, it's like a $100 book. Really? Yeah, it's like a $90 book. Wow. That's a – Wow. Jack Kirby cover. Yeah. Yep. Stan, um, Stanley Wright, you know, Stanley on the right. art. Uh, Don Heck. Uh, excuse me, Stanley on the story. Don Heck on the on the art. Look at that though. Stanley you, cover. Who does it open the first page? Who do you think is on it? Scarlet Witch. My <laughs> <laughs> I was geeking out was on good. it. Was Dude, awesome, it. Awesome, man. This, yeah, awesome, awesome. Score, score, that's, that's awesome, man. Score. So, cool. so cool. And then he gave me a bunch of like little paperbacks of Alfred Hitchcock from like '93. They reprinted them, so there's a bunch of oh, Alfred okay. Hitchcock ones. I'll let you guys continue, but I have some really exciting news to share with you guys. You guys are all Alien fans, right? Yeah. I got some really yeah. cool. I've been doing some research oh. while I've been sick. So I'm kind of hyped up right now because I'm like, I'm in two cups of uh, two pots of coffee. So I'm really, yeah. hyped up and really. Excited. <laughs> Do it, show it now. Show the aliens, sure mom, man. man. Yes, yeah, show the aliens. I have something for uh, I have something for Jim because it like popped in as soon as he showed it. Boom. Oh, oh man. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. that's badass. Oh. Yeah. That's Dude, that's amazing. Color, man. Jim, that is in Jim, that's in Jim's box. Awesome. Oh, <laughs> sure, man. That's thank you so much. Oh, Appreciate so it. Dude, oh, oh, and Javi, I haven't talked to you, and I know we're like always off all the time on communication, so I apologize. Oh, it's all good, man. My brother, these are for you. It's oh, for uh -huh. okay. so nice. <laughs> that one. That's a beautiful copy. Oh man. That one. Nice. That's for you, brother. Okay. Javi, 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 Javi. How long did it take to learn that name? We got Ghostbusters right here. <laughs> we got, we got what, well, Jim? What, man, I don't know how to do that crap. <laughs> we got, oh, what is it? Um, Creature from the Black Lagoon. Yes. That wow. cover is smoking, Jim. Love that cover. Yeah, you showed that. I was like, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. And you're going to get that signed, right, buddy? Yeah, I'm getting it signed next yep. week. Awesome. By Rico Browning. And you're going to get graded at the same time? Do they have a grading? I'm gonna, yeah, I'm going to try and get it graded also. That's good. Cool. Yeah, I'll, I'll call him I'll, I'll call him today after after we get off and see if he's going to be there. Yeah. I'll really, help you out. Yeah, definitely, Jeff. Help him out getting that graded. If you get yeah, that graded. Yeah, I got you. We got Vampy, yeah, and then Vampy. we 
Yeah. Conan. We got Conan all the way over there. Over there. What about you, Hylia? Yeah, yeah. You're the Hylia. Oh, 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 I have some stuff for Hylia. I have some stuff for Hylia. Awesome, man. Thank you so much. Hey, hey, here's another <laughs> Halloween one that I just got. Ooh, hell yeah. Mars Attacks. Mars Attack versus real Ghostbusters, man. Nice. Oh, oh, wow. Nice. I, I forgot that. all about that one. <laughs> yeah. Super cool. Yeah, man. Awesome. I'm gonna want this for I passed on I never got it before, but I had to get it. That's super awesome, cool, man. man. Awesome. Do you have a lot of Mars attacks? I got it in my hand right here. What was that? Do you like a lot of Mars attacks? I'm I'm more of a Ghostbuster guy, but I love the Mars Attack movie. I don't have much of the comic. The movie. I love that movie, man. That was one of the funniest movies I ever yeah. watched back in the day. Hey, that movie scared the crap out of me when I was a little bit. Are you serious? My favorite part is in that whole movie? What's that? The Senate scene. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Whoa, let's see what he has to say. He's going, rap, 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 rap. And all of a sudden he goes, Man, man, man. Everybody <laughs> them up, man. Oh, when, when, the guy, movie, man. when the guy sets the doves out. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Oh okay, I got something cool to show you. I found this in an indoor garage sale, and the guy had no idea what he had in his hand. This is a first ah. uh, card number 21. This is about a $1,500 card right here. No way. Wow. I got it for like 50 cents. Wow. Oh, yeah. Yep. That's the back of it. But yeah, that's one of the original cards. Very hard to find in this condition. I'm a big mm. fan of the classic Mars Attacks. This 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 color photo stuff is awesome. Yeah, it is. Yeah. They've made so many of the comic books of the different variations of them. They're really, really cool. We got Jester Rican in the chat. What's going on, Rod? Hey, Rod. Rod. Congrats to 1,000, man. Yeah! Yes, Congrats. Congrats, bro. Excellent. Congrats on 1,000. Congratulations, man. I wish I had like a popper. Popper? <laughs> <laughs> and Perry got 900. Or, or, or coconuts. If you have coconut. You have coconut. <laughs> coconut. <laughs> Juggle the coconut. And limes. Uh, All right. Uh, uh, limes. Time, I, don't know if we'll, I don't know if we'll get to um, Copper Age. Uh, the Mount Rushmore. Yeah, we can. I mean, let's do let's do a Halloween showcase, man. Let's. If you guys got horror books, and if you want to talk about any <laughs> anything horror theme related, any story. Yes. Well, I'm, Love I'm, the Edgar Allan Poe. Hell yeah! Yeah, I figured I figured Hell you like that yeah. one. That's awesome. Love it. That's what, awesome. What hey, check them out, buddy. Check this one out, Robert. Nice. Sorry, that Dracula looks like I'm right now. I'm seeing that. <laughs> That's awesome. That is awesome. Super sweet. So that Edgar Allan Poe, Jim, when did that one come out? How old is that? Uh, it's it's probably 90s. Let me check real quick. Because me and Miss G are going to do a special for you guys next week for Halloween. Mm -hmm. So you're aware of it. We're going to do a, a thing that I had bought her a couple years ago. And we're going to tell a story. And she's going to show you guys all this stuff while we're doing the live stream. And it's going to be pretty creepy. You're going to like it. Cool. Awesome. Right. Hey, this is 1988. Wow. So it's like wow. 20, what? Yeah, it's uh, oh. Eternity it's Comics. About 30 years. 30, yeah, 30 years. All... You're touching it with your hands, buddy. <laughs> it's, all, it's all it's all there's no color in it no it's okay who cares yeah black and white is good man. Good, good hell yeah 1988 nice very nice find that's awesome sorry guys i'm a little excited i haven't been online for over a week so i'm going a little stir crazy is it that <laughs> or is it your <laughs> Coffee that you just had. Not you, buddy. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Javi. I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, Puff, you want to show off? Y'all yeah, saw man. this on Instagram, and 
You saw it on my video yesterday. Oh, yeah. oh very cool. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That that is is love that. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of like a it's kind of like a homage to the Spider-Man, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It's pretty yeah. much yeah. ASM 300. 300. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. That's pretty Yo, cool. this, this got this off eBay. This price the price was like 70 bucks, but the guy offered me like $30 off, so it I came down that. to 40. Very I was good. like, I, I can't pass up on that. Yeah, I would have jumped on it too. Yeah, <laughs> and he sent it in the top loader too, so that was even better. Heck yeah, cool. Yeah, when did that book come out? How old Robert, is that book? Say hi. It, was new, it, it was a New York Comic Con exclusive from this year. So, yeah, yep. Oh, awesome! Awesome. Yeah. This Vengeance of Vampirella one, so this came out around that time the first issue came out. So yeah. it was for New York Comic Con. Yeah, Sweet. it was. Uh, it was one of the artists. Uh, Female artist, uh, yeah, she I she liked Amy, it. My post Amy? and commented on it. No yeah, way, yeah, Annie, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah Annie was Zuho, Zuho, I think. Zuho, yeah, yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, always got to give the artist credit and show the artist credit or show the artist some love for sure. Hell yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Javi, what did you have? I had a Vampirella. Ooh, I love that cover. That's a classic. I got two of those, but yeah, man. great. It's a great cover. Yeah. I love this. Look at the art on that. The art is just, I love that stuff. Yeah, the, the the detail in the background for sure. And her hair. Look at her hair, man. Yeah, I love it. Love long hair. You got to love long hair, guys. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got somebody right. that wants to say hi, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, Jeff, go ahead, man. Somebody wants to yeah. say hi, hi, hi to you. Uh, oh, Robert. my God. Yeah. Is that the yeah. new piece? Yeah. That's the new, new piece. piece. Yeah. She, she got the blade. Oh, Very nice. the Look yeah. at that figure. It looks just like Miss G, guys. Sorry. I knew she, I knew <laughs> you were going to say that. But what I saw, you, put like, you, you put it, Miss it G like in a tight bodysuit to look just like that. I swear to God. Yeah. <laughs> I knew that. That's I awesome. knew you would say it. You got a good deal on that, didn't you? So, yeah, like I, uh, I brought cash, and he goes, "Oh, so, yeah." I brought cash, and he, he went, "Yeah, good, dude. pretty decent deal for it." So beautiful, you can't beat it. <laughs> that is awesome. What is she holding on her right hand? I know she's holding a sword on her left hand. A sword, a broken sword, and then uh, the. The laugh and cry, one of the laugh and cry masks is the sad the mask. mask. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. it's the mask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, Robert might know why the blade is broken, though. I'm not, I, I completely forgot why the why she's holding a broken blade. Remember. It's been a while, buddy. I can't remember. Yeah, me too. So, it's really been a while since I looked her up again. Yeah, I have to look it up. Again. And Biggie Shack says yeah. you're so <laughs> with, with your yeah. new statue, of course, man. <laughs> you see what he said next? Yeah. No, I didn't. What did he yeah. say? Yeah. Jeff's the only one, that only dude that talks about booty more than me. <laughs> hey, we got to represent in Florida, man, for, for Biggie. That's right, that's right. We got to keep it. You got to keep it fresh over down here, man, in the dirty yeah. south. Yeah. Do you have anything? The whole reason we're talking about yeah. <laughs> I'll show uh, Dead of Night. Hell yeah. I love that cover. That is a really nice. cool series. This old man's going to get it. And he ain't got a chance. <laughs> yeah. That's what I I'm almost, up, man. I, Leah, you and I, I swear to God, think alike. I almost pulled five of those to show today. Yeah, I have a few. I have a few. I don't have a ton, but I have a couple. Oh, those are awesome. Yeah, awesome, awesome books, man. For sure. <laughs> 70s Bronze Age horror. I love it. Uh, yeah, man, it's it's great. I actually picked these up um, recently, and you know I was pretty proud of these. Oh, I was there with you. Those are awesome. Those are yeah. great. Love yeah. it. I love that one, Javi. Man, yep. that's you like Evil Ernie. Ernie. Evil Ernie. Evil Ernie. Evil Ernie. Yeah, he'll like the character. You'll like the character. Super cool. You read it yet? Yeah. No, I haven't opened these up yet. I don't know if I want to, man. They're in such oh, you haven't even taken out of the bag. Look at that. Oh, dude, they're, they're, they're cool. 
Yeah, this you got a like site that. to go to already. So. Yeah, yeah it's like that holographic cover of Lady Death on there. Nice. Yep. Yeah, I see that in the background. If, I can, find the first, if I can find the damn uh, first one, it'd be it'd be nice. <laughs> the very first. Uh, I I love this cover. Um, oh yeah, I showed it off before. Awesome, yeah. Spider-Man. Spider-Man, love it. Great. Night of the Living Ned. <laughs> <laughs> very cool. It's cool too because you kind of like see a half a skull in his face. Yeah, it's That's awesome. So cool. And you got Gwen Stacy like coming out of the grave too. It's funny, I even bust out my after Sudan covers for <laughs> Halloween comic uh stuff on Instagram. You've been I got a couple cool stuff on Instagram though, Puff. Yeah. I try yeah, to man. variety, man. Cause right right now, I know do y'all love Evil Dead? Ash. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, of course. Oh, yeah. So, so I got some ass no. on the <laughs> uh, on the yeah. ass. <laughs> When you see some zombified booty, you know, you're like, hey, shit. this ain't what I signed up for. <laughs> uh, He's going to be at Spooky the, the next weekend. So, yeah, I know, man. It's, him, uh, it's like Star him Wars book right here. That's pretty cool. Yeah. And of course, Hell to the King. Very nice. Mm-hmm. Like that. I also got the Halloween cover from last year. Nice. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. You showed that one, didn't you? Last year. You haven't shown that book? Somebody showed that book, because I remember seeing that cover recently. They probably did post it recently, but I posted it last year for Halloween. But, yeah, I love Evil Dead. Nice. Oh Sweet. <laughs> yeah. He's, he's taking on the whole damn school. <laughs> yeah. yeah, man, it's awesome. I actually have this uh, stocked away for a future AOK for somebody. So you know, you know what series I want? I want the series where he took on Freddy and Jason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I want that series, man. Because I, I never knew that existed, and then I look, I'm like, wait, he took on Freddy and Jason? Oh, I gotta read that. <laughs> That's hilarious. And you know, he put up a fight too. <laughs> and he got to tell throw jokes at him while he doing it. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, you said. Uh, silver, right, or what? Bronze? It could be anything you want, man. It could be any uh, horror. Any horror. Yeah, I'm showing oh. modern, so it doesn't oh. matter. Wow. Ooh. I nice. like you. Wow, wow that's man. awesome, man. Yeah, this one's 1951. No, we're really getting pushed into a, a furnace. <laughs> yeah. Oh damn! Yeah. <laughs> 1951. That's a bad day. That's a really bad day. <laughs> and you're <next. laughs> and one of my favorites when it comes to like 70s is this cover here. It's Doorway uh, Nightmare. Uh, Doorway to Nightmare. This is issue three. I love this cover. Oh God! Are you kidding me? I got that coming on Wednesday. Do you? Oh, nice. Yeah. I just got. Ah. I, just, I just came across. I just came across that cover, and I was like, Oh my. Goodness, you it's definitely an so eye catcher, that's for sure. Yep. It's coming. I I got it on. I think I, I pulled the trigger on Friday and it'll be here Wednesday, hopefully. The face, so, that's the cool. just, who did that? Who did that? Yeah, who did that? What's the key? Is that a, like a minor? Dude, I forget the guy's name, man. And I do too. And I can tell you, in right. a minute. it's, the, it's the eyes on that. Yeah, it's the eyes and it's the, the eyes. The bat, like big. Time. Is she is she holding the bat or is the yeah, bat? She's holding the bat. She's holding the bat. Yeah. Oh, that's not. No, you're good. Nice. Awesome. Beautiful. Nice. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, awesome. It's, it's covers like that that just captures your attention. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like you, you, the moment you see it, you know you got to have it, man. You, that's so exactly. You know what? I got this from there. Wait up. Give me one second. It's uh, 1978. Uh-huh. And it's, it's, I have it written in the back. It's, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hack the name up, you guys. This is the number one to that series. Yep. 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 Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Awesome. I seen it like yesterday. Doorway to oh, yeah. Nightmare. Beautiful. And then th- this is why we hang out and talk comics on yep. Silver Age mm-hmm. Sunday to share these books that not many people may know about. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hi, Leah. A lot of people don't collect horror, man. Hi, Leah. Yeah. Um, Reno, Reno, 
Tanjil or something. Yeah, it's, it, I, the guy's name is weird because I looked it up when yeah. I when I was ordering the book because I wanted to see. There's you know, only, I think, like seven issues in that run or nine yeah. issues in that run, something like yeah. that. Yeah, I have it written in the back. Yeah, yeah. Number so, number two is a nice cover, also. Oh yeah. Doorway yeah. to Nightmare, 1978, around that time. Yeah. Yep. I'm uh yeah definitely books to look out for for sure. Yeah. yeah. I I do have some news. Um, if you want to hear it, um, go ahead. If you got more books to show, I got more. A couple more. If you know. Rod's heading out of here. Have a Good great Rod. show. Uh, later see you later, Rod. Later. You're gonna do great tonight, man. That's the show just to put a cover off that Javi aoked me from Supercon. Nice. Don't just go. Love yeah, it. just go, man. Yeah, just go. Beautiful. What the what the trading card still in it? I found the other other issue of it. Uh, I just got to go pick it up now. <laughs> 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 yeah, super sweet cover, and he does. He did a lot of those like Marvel trading cards. Yeah, with Marvel amazing trading cards. He, yeah, he then uh, he done a lot of Conan too, man. I looked I looked up Joe Jusco. He did a yeah. lot of Conan, a lot of Pink Piece yep. too. Yeah, especially your the the Conan uh, picture I got you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I the have. The first time I saw was Joe Jusco. Yep. This is one of the runs that I uh, started collecting when I was first getting into oh. horror. It was a uh, supernatural thrillers. Oh yeah. This it was, is like uh, yeah. it's, it's kind of like a horror cover, more fantasy. Still, still yeah. awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Still awesome. But I did pick up. Uh, the, I've showed these off before. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you showed that during your battle with Jeff. <laughs> yeah. Right. Uh, wow. And, and oh. uh, other book that uh, he actually beat me with. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you can't uh, you can't go wrong with the headless horseman. Good yeah. Yeah. That's a good one too. Those are classic horror uh oh, character. nice characters. characters. Yeah. yeah. Well I went after the comics code. <laughs> I love the, the way skull is coming off the horse. His head. Yeah, yeah it's it's his own head. <laughs> so cool. And the horse is very awesomely well well drawn as I well. See that. Yeah. Awesome. That you know so what cool. you know what got me into the Headless Horseman stories? That? Was that real Ghostbuster episode when Peter Venkman was chased by the Headless Horseman yeah. on the motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> the headless oh, yeah, motorcyclist. Yeah, yeah. You know, the crane story and he traveled for years, always antagonizing the, the family. And the yeah. Ghostbusters came and saved that shit. I was like Ever since then, I like the headless horseman stories, man. Bro, you can see our 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 difference in age because yours is what the Ghostbusters yeah. cartoon. Mine is Scooby Doo back in the day. That's what got me yeah, into yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> you can see our age difference in cartoons. But so everybody, everybody used it, man. Everybody took yeah, element from that like, horseman and yeah. put it, especially when it comes to supernatural stuff. You know, yeah. anything supernatural. You gotta take from it, you know. Yep. Ghostbusters took a lot from um HP Lovecraft, yep. all that. I'm gonna stuff. get that subject in a minute. <laughs> so, we got Barbarian Kung Fu in the chat. Real quick shout out for Barbarian Kung Fu. He sent me an AOK. I want to hey, show you. Oh, hey, yeah. Barbarian. Hey, barbarian. barbarian. And then we'll get Thank back you to you, so Jeff. Much, brother. Ooh, very Thank nice. Thank you. Wow. He sent awesome. me this. Wow. He sent me a bunch of silver surfers that I do not have. Yep. Thank you so much, brother. Dude, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. that's great. Holy that's crap. Awesome. 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 They changed faces. They switched faces on that one. Yeah. Very cool. Boom. Puff loves some busters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I gotta check this out. Yeah, and Puff won the one option from a lady fantastic for that Bampy Rella yesterday, so that's cool. Ooh, yeah, that is nice. Ooh. Boat, like that boat. That's cool. That's pretty, that's I love the I love the uh, Reaper part in the back. The shadow yeah. looks like the shadow of death. Very cool. It's actually pretty. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the man. doll I did. half the face. It's a what? The doll is missing half her face. Oh, I see it. Yep, yep, yep. Pretty that creepy. Very cool. And the twinkle, twinkle little star. Love it. Love it. Have y'all remember playing um the video game Dead Space? Yep. And there was that section in the game. And that section in the game 
with the twinkle twinkle little star. Yeah. Oh my god, that was so creepy, man. I played that game like, oh. Yeah. Oh, I felt I felt like I was gonna get attacked by something, man. I was like, oh my god, that you song know, is killing me, man. Did you did you did you ever play the aliens game? Which one? The 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 re the last one? Yeah. Where you got where you're hiding all the time? Yeah. That yeah, that, that was tense. Out of me every time. That was tense. Hiding in a locker and the aliens walking by and you can't walk. And if you move, it will track you down or like bam in your face, you're dead. Yeah. Oh, I, I hated those. I hated those synthetic robots, though. They always irritated me whenever I ran into a bunch of those. But that alien was terrifying. <laughs> that sounds intense. Sorry, guys. I got something that's going to be this alien-related thing. It's you're going to love it because you're comic book. Right. You're going to especially love this. Wait, but Boat. Keep going, guys, you keep showing books. I'm going to yeah. interrupt. Boat, show off that uh, <laughs> second unexpected that you had up. Yeah. Oh. Nice, love that, brother. Those are awesome. Grave, that's some Billionaire grave. <laughs> I love the writing on some of these. When you read the front of them, it's cool. like definitely pretty cool. What does that word book will say, Bo? It says a few more seconds, and you'll know if our experiment creating artificial life is successful. <laughs> and the thing yeah. is creeping up on them. Wow, that's kind of creepy. I just got done watching a thing on uh, um, whether they accept um, – it was all about genes and splicings and genetics. Oh, yeah, I heard about that. Yeah. Oh, my God, that. creepy, guys, creepy. Yeah. Jeff, you had got, that, uh, uh, that cow book? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that cow, I got the cow book. Oh, no. Classic, classic. Made me laugh so yeah. hard that day, dude. Yeah. I was really crying. Yeah. Zombie King, that's what it is. Good Lord. Yeah, Zombie King, the cow book that actually uh, Javi and me actually battled with. So since he was <laughs> hey. showing off some battle book, <laughs> he had to come back swinging. You know how it is. Yeah, but not yeah. with a damn cow, man. Like, oh, <laughs> I can't get that. Oh, man. Head, it, ain't, ain't nothing <laughs> scary about that. That makes you barf more than you scared of it. <laughs> that image is ingrained. <laughs> brain, we can't it's ingrained in my head, bro. Not look at it, but it's there. It's there. Yeah. <laughs> that image is ingrained with a couple of other colors <laughs> that we show. Those are ingrained in my head, too. Yeah. yeah, but those, those are fun, man. That that's the fun, man. Now I'm known yeah. for the damn zombie king book. <laughs> <laughs> it's I'm surprised you ain't post that for splash page Saturday or something, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm nicer you, uh, than that, man. Yeah, I know better. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what's that over there, dude? Mm -hmm. It's a red foil um, purgatory. Uh, from not the early nineties is but you can't really see her since the uh, since the light and everything but you can see her a little bit. There's dragons below her and everything. It's it's oh, purgatory. Shiny cover boy. Ooh. Yeah. Shiny cover Feel it were like this one. Yep. Feel it were like this. That's awesome, man. Yeah, Puff would like it too, man. It's a purgatory book that I got from uh I got issues uh, from uh White Whale's auction. A while Biggie, back, he says more cow book. <laughs> I need more cow, more cow book. More cow book. More cow book. More cow yeah, book. Like more I'll cow put book. it up, but I won't. I won't put no, it. No, 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 no. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think, no, I'm leaving it like that. That's what I said. No, no cow, but we'll get. We'll 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 leave it up. I think Bo wanted to show off some more stuff. Oh, I got a couple more. But if somebody else got some more, they can show. It's up to you, man. Uh, Nah, I mean, yeah, I'll, I'll boat today. Oh, we have more ghosts. <laughs> <That's fine. laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Boom. Wow. Awesome. awesome. I love it. Yeah, <laughs> that's amazing. Is I don't know what to click on first. <laughs> nice. Nice. Yeah. Oh, wait. I'll, I'll pull that one. Oh, no. I'm, oh, it's Robert pulled that one. Puff, Puff is running. Puff is going to grab one. Yeah, he's going to go grab one. What issue do you have, uh, Rob? Yeah, now we. What happened? No, what issue do you have, Rob? 
Gee, what what issue is that? What number? Oh, this is issue fifty. Issue fifty. Wow, man. What about you, Boat? Well, I guess now now me and Javi got to join the club, man. Now we got to get a good go a ghost each. <laughs> Mine is uh, issue one hundred two. Nice. No, it's a redhead That's cover. Cool. I love it already. <laughs> <laughs> redhead and skull. Yes. That's right. That, That's a cool cover. I man, like that. Cover. That is awesome. Dude, that looks like a brand new book. Like that yeah. looks like it would have came yeah. out. Like this. Well, I, Leo, I would say Bala really presents good. well. Number one. This is number one. This is number one. This is number one. It's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. This is a uh, Cardi. Nick Cardi cover. Nick, Nick Cardi. Okay. Wow, that's number one. Holy crap. Yeah, that's awesome. Beautiful. Yeah, I looked out. I got it this year. I was after it for a while, and I came across it. That's a DC series? Um, Yes. Ghosts. Interesting. All right, y'all, so, so y'all want to wanna sell some ghosts? I got to bring out the Ghostbusters. Nice. Right? <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> so going up against... Jack the Lion himself, man. You know, yeah. even serving out treats to goat, man. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. You know, can't can't go wrong with the Ghostbusters. You know, spooky season come, you yep. gotta call them. Hell yeah, mm -hmm. love it. Yep. And oh man, oh, that that is is look at that. That's, that's awesome. Nice. Yeah. And here, here's one that is a face. Ooh. Ooh. Medusa. I like that. Medusa. Yeah. It's Goza's sister. Really? Yeah. If you, if you remember that episode when the real Ghostbusters, the multiple the multiple snake head, um yeah. yeah, that's her. Cool. And of course you got the tentacles on the yeah, ghost. I love it. It's the Lovecraft through and through. Yep. And and, and I know you remember this guy from part two. Yep, absolutely. Yep. That was hilarious. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, that's an awesome artwork, man. I love it, man. Got this. The spirit's coming up. Oh, yeah. It's in the slime pit, isn't it? Yeah. Those are some beautiful covers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I love uh, yeah. Dan Shonen's covers, man. He, he does some amazing work on it. His style is you know, stylized and cartoony. But it's very beautiful when you look at the whole thing. Right. Just amazing stuff, man. Mm -hmm. So y'all brought up Ghost Comics. I had to bring out the Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. <laughs> All good. All good. Hey, I I need to get on some uh some Ghostbusters books, man. Because the movie were, were great. Of course, the movies were. Great. Yeah, I'm loving that. Yeah, I got nice. both. Yeah, we need to get on some ghost books too, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ghosts and Ghostbusters. That's it. Yeah. Ghost. It's your 16 on your right, right? Yeah, 16 and 55. Yep. I'm the key master. You're the gatekeeper. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really master. You know, I'm the Biggie ain't afraid of no ghosts. Hey, speaking, speaking of movies, speaking of movies, nice. Y'all see? Ooh. Hell yeah. Awesome. Part part two wasn't as good as part oh. one. I think part one was really the only good one out of this run. Yep. Agreed. They're on Amazon. The uh, part two is on Amazon. House of the Yeah, House Two is on Amazon actually. Dude, oh my Flying god. Free. I remember That's seeing what? the first one. I can't remember for the life of me, but I remember seeing the first one. Yeah. Man, the first one first freaked one me the hell amazing. out. First one was amazing. Amazingly yeah. well done. I don't think I've seen those movies. House? Yeah, I don't think I've seen them. Yeah. If you got Amazon, man, check it out. <laughs> really bad cover, unfortunately. There's a are those House of Mystery pulling out tissue uh, 190. I tell you, them House of Mystery, House of Secrets, Witch and Hour, they have some great covers, man. I yeah, think there was one that boy Johnny Boy posted with you know somebody approaching the house, and you see the female's face in the background in the sky. Man, that's just awesome. Yeah, awesome. It, it, it captures your attention. It makes you want to read the story and see what it's about. Because the oh, cover yeah. back then, what what happened on the cover took place inside the book. Exactly yeah. right. 
Yes. And that's most yeah. of the time. Most oh, of the God. time. Yeah. <laughs> we have glitter and duct tape in the house. What's going on? I hope you are enjoying your Sunday. Thank you for hanging out. Hey, Glitter. How you doing, buddy? Yeah, he's here with us. <laughs> Barbarian's here with us. And, uh, life keepers, you're here with us. Yeah, thank you, everybody, for hanging out. I got a, few, a couple more. I, I think Rob is going to show off one, and then we'll do the, we'll do the switch-ups. Swamp thing. Got to show a little swamp Ooh, thing. Ooh, I love that. A little living living vampire. Nice. <laughs> nice. My favorite. Love it. Love it, love it. That's it. This is the two. I got more. <laughs> I don't want to get somebody else. I want, I want to show. I want to. I want to show Robert this one. Yeah. I showed you guys. I'm gonna take it out the bag so he can see it fully. I showed the guys before, but this cover right here, Ghostbusters. Oh, oh wow! Oh. That's wow. What, what's on his What's on his shirt? It says "Fan Fantastic Land." <laughs> <laughs> And that's that's fantastic land amusement park. Wow, this I had to get this cover when I saw it. I was like, oh, this it's this cover is awesome, cool. man. Wow. That looks wicked as hell. Yeah, it's amazing. Well, so Super those four questions you do you have? When did you get those? What year did those come out? <laughs> well, the ongoing started around 2011, and I've stuck with it ever since. You know, I remember when IDW first got the license, I was all over it. Right. The first arc suck. It yep. was one of the worst arcs I ever read. I haven't <laughs> talked about it yet, but I plan on it. And then ever since then, when when Burnham took over, and then Danny Sohan followed, the series has been great for me. You know, it nice. definitely captures the essence of Ghostbusters. Cool. Super cool. Uh, this has been a uh, every time Halloween comes, this book ends up like coming up. I know a lot of people have this book. Yeah, I like that. Now, one of my favorites, uh, Javi, is the Superman, where it shows um, a witch with a voodoo doll. It's got Superman in her hand. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. That cover, it's really cool, and she's poking Superman. That's a I've cool never movie. seen that cover right there, Javi. That was awesome. That was awesome. Yeah, it's like the, the mashup of House never, of History and Superman. Yeah. yeah. Go away, Superman, before you turn into a monster, too. <laughs> I like what it says at the bottom, Atari Force. I remember I see that. that. I know. I was looking at that. It's Atari a Force, dude. That was huge. They had the little comics that came with the game or something. Well, I forget how it was. I have a few of those. Oh, a wow. A free 16-page comic preview to Atari Force. Yeah, Atari Force. And that's the house that I have a whole bunch. Like not a whole bunch. Oh. Hey, house damn, my screen is good. I showed this before. I like that. Oh, I, that's nice. I posted this in my that Instagram. Is, yeah, I saw that. That what one I saw on your Instagram. That's beautiful. What issue is that? This is three, oh, 284. Who draws that? Oh, house, cool. You know? The art, the cover? The cover? Do you have any uh, idea? The artist right there, isn't it? Yeah, it's right there. I can check real quick, though. No, I mean, it's okay, dude. It's cool. It's cool. It's on my Instagram. Okay. It was Mike Kaluda. Kaluda. That's cool. Yeah, Mike cool. Kaluda. Love that cover, buddy. Is he got a so, chicken bone in his hand? I think it's a rattle, rattler, like a baby's rattler. It's like <laughs> a, a vampire <laughs> child. Yeah, like a vampire... <laughs> You wow. know, baby. <laughs> wow. Um, that as uh, no, go ahead. House of another house of mystery. Very nice. I love those. There, there you go. Hey, is this the same? Is this the same girl with the doll that was in on the cover you showed off? Boat. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dude, it looks like me. It might be <laughs> pretty close. Yeah. Yeah, I think it well, is. Yeah, but that was it, I think. Yep. Yeah, no, it's not the same series, but yeah, it's, both, it's like funny how close it, it could be. Yeah. And they like those pink dresses. Yeah. Yeah. 
the corpse that came into the tide as like some little girl looking out at the corpse. <laughs> nice. Okay, uh, it's uh, some Vault of Horror Evil. I love this series. Ooh, awesome. Love the mm -hmm. grabbing the woman. No, oh, no, she's in trouble. Oh, shit, that's awesome. They're coming out from the ground, from the graveyard. Yeah. yeah. From the yeah. crater. We got some wacko weird ones for you. Got some shock and weird. Ooh, that's awesome. Nice one. I love the, that the witch. Is she like uh, taking a shot or something? 1970. <clears throat> wow. That's awesome. Um, another weird. This is a weird one. And then the last one is shock. Wow. That's awesome. Yeah. Polarizing peril. <laughs> I got one for Jeff, real quick. Yeah. Uh -oh. I got one for Jeff, too. I got to kind of like, boom, pitch a 50. Ooh. That's nice. nice. That's awesome. Yep. yep. And Puff won one, one yesterday. Hey. I s I've seen that. You won one? Yeah. At a, at a giveaway? Puff or won one. Uh, auction. No, no, Lady auction. Fantastic auction. auction. Uh, uh, one of the Frank Fazella covers. That's awesome. Yeah, I was hoping Puff would win it. I'm like, because I, I had to save up for Spooky. That's why I'm like, I, I'm here to support them. But I, they, I go, yep. uh, first thing I went, good, Puff won it. <laughs> In the chat, I go, good. That's cool, man. Great uh, supporting yeah. all those people's auctions for sure. Mm -hmm. And getting some books. I got a, a, a book from DS's auction. Oh out. my God, Javi! I wanted to talk to you about that, bro. Yeah, Dude, let's. Wait, I don't want to. I don't want to deter. Okay, you okay. I'll keep it to myself. Yeah. I'll keep it to myself. But all I gotta say is, dude, I was so happy for you, man. Yeah, man, and happy for you, Puff, for scoring that awesome Vampirella mm. Rosetta cover, man. Yeah. I am too. Curious. So. <laughs> you need to go watch it. You need to go rewatch the rewind, man. The way <laughs> I have um, I have a, a couple more. You know, we are running up into an hour, the hour mark. So probably showcase uh, the last couple books, and then I got two left, so that's good. Cool. Yeah. I have some uh, secrets of the haunted house. This is issue number ten. Nice. Wow. The devil's deadliest deal. On a bus stop. Very cool. Yeah, I, and he, like the devil even has like hooves. Like he doesn't have regular feet. Yeah, so wicked, dude. <laughs> That's so wicked. Yeah. This is super cool. Um, number twenty-five with this with this chick, and I guess she's like some sort of succubus or something. I don't know. Yeah, she is. I have that one. That's actually a really good one, bud. That's a really good book. The, the the gentleman, he's like, oh, they're all dead. Now we'll survive. And the, the lady, she's saying, no, there's still one last bean I must kill. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder who that's going to be. <laughs> and this one, very creepy cover, number 104. Oh, oh I've seen that one, dude. That's, that's awesome. awesome. That is so cool, dude. Yeah, this guy. Very, you know, very creepy theme on the cover for sure. AG, redhead. I seen it. <laughs> oh, I seen it right away. It's awesome. <laughs> so I got those three House of Secrets. I picked these up when I was like getting back into comics and the horror genre was like a, a, something that really interested me. And these covers for sure were, were awesome. What's Jeff? What's Jeff got? I'm wondering, too. What is that? Yeah. The hide? And, uh, well, I can't really show much in the book. I've actually looked through it, so <laughs> <laughs> I want to. But really <laughs> Ooh, yeah, yeah it's, it's a horror book. Yeah, it's redhead. a redhead, but it's a horror book. It's a, yeah about uh, vamp vampires and uh, 
and Nazi Nazi stripper and vampires. Oh, that's wow. all I'm going to say. Wow, that's Nazi that's just about everything you like. Uh, there, uh, Nazi strippers yeah. and vampires. Yep. Oh my. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. You guys have to guess what the that. stripper does. That's yep. awesome, man. Yep. By uh, Adamo, uh, Adamo Comics. They, they have, they're always coming up with some good horror books. Adamo has that uh, straight jacket story that comes out with them. They, they have a bunch of good horror books. There's one. There's one. Uh, there's one book that has called. There's another book that he, they come out with. I forget what the hell it's called, but it, it's almost like a Jason character, a little girl go after, after like, mo- like not monsters, but like, you know, I forget. I forget. But it's it's a pretty cool book. Adamo has a lot of good horror books. Cool. Barbarian got the Chamber of Chills from the auction. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Congrats, bro. That is very cool. I, I got a couple more books to show, and then I got a little bit of news to drop you guys. Let's do it. Since all my Floridians, we got one. We got one from New York, right? No. So, no, we're all Floridians. No, we're all Floridians. Yeah, all I, Florida? I am from New York, though. Yeah. Uh, I live, I live here, but I'm from New York. Okay. So here's two more books. Oh. Really wow. weird ones. Read comics. <laughs> Read comics. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, and wow, then, what publisher is that? Yeah, who, who did that? Modern, right? Modern comics. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty funny. <laughs> I'm going to have to look that up. I have a Hercules by them. Yep. They, that is a very cool cover. I've never seen and that. Ghostly Haunts. Ooh. That is super cool. Some sort of demon. Yep. And then the last one is Beyond the Grave issue one. And a couple copies of these. Great oh. Classic. Read comics. What is that? He's digging. <laughs> Read comics. <laughs> He's digging into the grave and they like, see a uh, yeah. No, spaceship. Was, yeah. No, I think the guy's coming out of the coffin, right? Yeah, but it is. Yeah, yeah he's coming out of the coffin. Oh, that's he what it is. On top. Yep. All right. That's awesome. If there's more books to show, show the books first before I tell the news. Go ahead and tell the news. Hi, Aaliyah. Did, did you anything or no? Hi, Aaliyah, buddy. I got two more books. Please, let's see. I love yeah, seeing I the collection. I got, I got the Monster of Frankenstein? No. I, I think I've shown this one before, but Dude, it's not game. why not? First time I got to see it. Thank yeah. you. Dude, I played D&D yesterday, and Ooh. that looks like something straight out of our D&D game from last night. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then I got this. Oh, but, yeah. Stranger. Yes. Nice. That's awesome. Spectre, isn't it? Is that Spectre? Yeah. 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 Spectre made a p- appearances in that one, didn't he? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Those are great covers, brother. Thank you. What's the news, Robert? Man, I'm dying to hear the news, man. It's comic book related. Okay. I hope so. That's what we're here for. Oh, I got two more books. Absolutely. Absolutely. Nice. What number is that, Boat? It's issue five, isn't it? No, five. Yeah. I need to get more of them. Yeah, you and me both. <laughs> I never have enough man things. Oh, that is nice. Ah, cool. Look at that cover. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. That's that guy. Weird. <laughs> what is that? A zombie with a chick? Yeah. Yeah. Dude, that's wicked. What is he coming out of? What is what is he in a boat? What is he in? Uh, he's strapped to a table. A table. Okay. I got him strapped to like uh like electrical stuff okay. and. Got it. Nice. That's like issue good. number eight. And That's my awesome, last man. book, I think I, I think I've shown this one before. This is the last oh, book I, I got. It. Love it. Love yeah, it. I just posted that. I love it. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. This is my dollar book find. I found this one for a dollar. Very nice. Yo, yours in better condition than mine. <laughs> well, it's, pretty rough. it's pretty rough, but yeah, I can't pass it up for a dollar. I think that book's yeah. gone up actually for some reason. Yeah. Recently. I think so. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Ooh, very cool. Creepy oh, books. Probably, man. Creepy books were really good. Some of those were awesome. <laughs> That's cool. So cool, dude. That looks like one of the like one of the Star Wars Tie Fighter guys. <laughs> yeah, it looks like one of the. It looks like one of the um the uh what did they what were they um bounty hunters. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it looks like. Barbarian oh, kung fu with classic. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> man. Classic comedy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. That's the books. All right. We got news. We got news. Far away. Robert. Hey, gotcha. Sorry. All right. If you guys haven't seen it, this is a big deal. Um, if you're an Aliens fan on anything alien related, I'm talking about the first movie, you guys. Um, check out. You can rent it. You can't buy it. I can't wait till I can buy it. I rented it, and it's called Memory, The Origins of Alien. Okay? What's really cool about this documentary, you guys, is while you're watching it, they talk about H.P. Lovecraft. They talk about a bunch of comic books about midway through the, mo through the movie where they got the concept idea of making the alien creature. We have some artists that were in this. Francis Bacon, another, he's a little strange, but he had a thing for mouths. So if you ever remember, like, the alien creature itself, with the whole head and the shape of its face, mm -hmm. and the chest buster created, was created by this artist. Then you got H.R. Geiger, of course, all the creation of the art. Now, books, to keep on a lookout for hunts, you guys. I'm hunting for these books, just to be aware oh, of boy. it. Also, for your guys' personal collection. I would say if you're a fan of aliens, it's a must in your collection. And one is, sorry, I'm writing on my notes here. Um, one is Weird Science Issue 8. It's an eight, it's like 18, eight pages, I think it is. It's from 1951, EC Comics, and it's called Seeds of Jupiter. Weird Science Issue 8. Seeds of Jupiter came out in July and August of 1951. A must have if you're an alien fan. The concept ideas of the stories, when you watch this documentary, it is. I'm sorry, guys. It's, I was geeking out. I watched it twice. It was awesome. All right. This is, a documentary. The, this is a documentary that's out on Amazon right now. And it's called Memory, the Origin. Aha, that's the cover right there, guys. That's the cover. Burn that in your skulls. That's a must have <laughs> in your collection. Must have. If you're a comic book fan or an aliens fan, you got to get that book. It's an awesome book. Oh, boy. Trust me. <laughs> trust me. Trust me on this. Okay. Another one. Same line. Awesome, Javi. That's awesome. I'm glad you put that up there. That's great. Um, also another one, um, uh, another one is by, uh, sorry, uh, 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 death rattle volume one, 1972 covered by Richard Gorbin. It's by kitchen sink press. I have a lot of kitchen sink press books and this is one of the books I don't have and it's called death rattle. They made two different covers for it. The, the first volume is called Death Rattle by Richard Gorbin, Kitchen Sink Press, 1972. Then they reprinted it and made a second copy of it. Okay. And the last, uh, the last two on here, one was Astounding Stories, February 1936 by Howard B. Bourne. That's another one. Astounding Stories. And that is, you know my thick books I've showed you guys? I always forget what they're called. Yeah, that's the one. Wow. Made two different copies of this. Ooh. Made two different copies of this, you guys. There is also, they did a reprint of that. That's a must-have because it has to do with the, the actual writers. The writers, the directors. If you're wondering, I'm a, big, I'm a huge fan of, of um, Ridley Scott. And what really got my curiosity was is I knew there was more behind the, to the alien story 
Prometheus story and Covenant. Okay, those are the only ones I accept. And the whole thing they mentioned too was about Fox. You know how we got Predator and all those things? Fox screwed up a lot of our story drops from like our superheroes, our X-Men. I mean, come on, guys. Get your shit together. Sorry for my language. Get your stuff together. <laughs> it, it, it frustrates me as a fan because it's like, oh. But anyway, sorry. little passionate drama. Sorry. <laughs> Not excited. What was the last one? Outstanding. Outstanding stories. This is what I was trying to tell you. You know my – give me one second. Just a little bit of uh, alien knowledge. Alien, the the movie, the Xenomorphs. Yep. Um, as as uh, Robert mentioned, there is a big, big universe surrounding this whole series, um, especially if you get down to the Pr Prometheans and the whole creation of life and where the humans came from. Um, very, very interesting, deep sci-fi stuff. I did, I'm a big fan of aliens. I did yeah. collect a lot of the, I think there were Life and Fire or Life and Stone aliens. Fire and Stone. Sorry, Fire it's, and Stone. it's buried in my other boxes, but this is the books. These books like this? Yeah. Okay. And these, most of my collection deals are from 1936 to like 1942. And I have this. I have um, uh, Amazing Fantasy. Uh, astounding stories. I have a whole box of them, but they're on the very bottom. The you know, unfortunate thing, me and Jeff were talking about this, and I was talking to another buddy of mine. They don't slab these books. It frustrates the shit out of me. Not nope. yet. Not yet. So I'm still waiting. But I know, that I know I, think. I have that Astounding Stories because it has H.P. Lovecraft in the corner down here. And I, I'm forgetting what the cover looks like right now. Guys, I gotta go. Sorry, yeah. I just looked at the time. I gotta go, man. Oh. <laughs> I gotta I'll, go. I'll stand <laughs> hey, man, go for it, bro. Thanks, thanks, guys. Thanks, everybody yeah. in the chat. See you Thank later. You Love you, brother. We'll see, see you all of you this week, so be good. Oh. All right, all right. Take, care, Take care, man. And what made you want to start researching all this stuff, Robert? Well, I've always been a total geek when it comes to the Xenomorph because when it comes to monster books, monster stories, scary pictures, scary movies, my favorite that always haunted me as a kid was Alien, the Xenomorph itself, and the whole mystery behind who the Xenomorph, what the Xenomorph really is. And the Xenomorph, when you follow the right story of the Ridley Scott story, not James Cameron story, mm -hmm. because the James Cameron story he took out of the aliens versus predator. So if you actually read the comic books on the aliens and predator story, they show that the predator created the xenomorph and they had the eggs and they had this system on their ship and they shot the pods out into the universe and infected and then went on hunting sprees. That's how this all happened. But if you follow the actual story of the xenomorph, the xenomorph is us. Right. It's our DNA. It's what was mutated out of us. And if you look at what Ridley Scott was trying to portray to the storyline, you get my saying, you get my saying. I'm geeking out too much, you guys. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I pulled this up. Um, you let me know uh, what you think about yeah, it. Yeah, that's Sound it. Stories. That's the one. Yep. Yep, definitely. And it has here the Lovecraft mention, as you yep, said. that's the one. That's the one you want in your collection. If you can find it, I think I know I have that book. I have that book. And that's a big must have in anybody's collection. I don't care, but it's like these these books were wonderfully written, you guys. If you like to read stories and really good science fiction and good horror stories, you're missing a lot on these books. And a lot of people look at me like, well, that's not a comic book. Oh, well, actually, it kind of is mm -hmm. before the comic book age. And this, the art cover, look at the art on that. That's, that's amazing. amazing. Awesome art. And creative. It's yeah, um, but it's original. It's from the 50s. It's like when people were first coming up with these crazy concepts. And yeah, man, that's that's but insane. remember HP Lovecraft was like around 1920. 
Right. Now, here's what's a fascinating part. This is why I go like totally gonko on this. Okay. Notice that cover. It's got kind of like, it's a tentacle creature with mm -hmm. eyeballs. That mm -hmm. was a standard for H.P. Lovecraft. If you ever read any of H.P. Uh, Lovecraft, one especially was called... Cthulhu. 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 Yeah. The Cthulhu creature. Yeah. He yeah. created a... H.P. Lovecraft's a little out there. He was. Um, but when it comes to horror genre, I'm talking across the board. Everything that we've loved in horror movies, comic books, all that stuff. It's pulled out of creations of artists. You're an artist, Jim. You you get what I'm saying, it, right? It's it it's it's subliminal. It's in the back of your brain. And I, I I know I make I get too crazy and whatever. But you'll notice, like, no. awesome. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you for that knowledge for sure, man. But pay attention to like your octopus, anything with octopus and legs. Arts on the creatures. I've told Jeff. Anytime I find that on a book, I'll think H.P. Lovecraft right away. Modern, classic, doesn't matter. In movies, uh, an example. Look at the. If you haven't watched the Han Solo story, yeah. Okay, Han Solo story shows an exact what I'm talking about. Yeah. There you go, with a director that doesn't know it, like intentionally. It's not intentionally done. But it's stuck there because he read it. He right. He remembers it. And it shows up in the movie, like Han Solo story. When they take the Millennium Bulk and go back up the wormhole, and there's fucking Star Destroyers coming down, say, oh, let's take a shortcut. Boom. They That's my favorite the part. Yeah. What are they in? They're in black void of space. Not space in real time, but in a different dimension. And when you're watching that, that there's a creature that's being sucked into a black hole. And it's got all these tentacles on it. Boom, HP Lovecraft pops in my brain. No, you know for sure. Yeah. Like that stuff like that, dude. But and and that stuff I appreciate. And when it comes to artists and stuff, and I have a big collective variety of artists that I like, but you get my saying. Yeah. Sorry. Hey, yeah. hey Robert. Yeah. This, this is why when I brought up again the real Ghostbusters, yeah, and that episode, it was the collect call of Katu. That was my first time as a kid seeing this creature mm -hmm. and it made me actually look up some of hp lovecraft work you know in the cthulhu stuff yep. and that's why i noticed how all these creatures with the tentacles and multiple eyes was similar to cthulhu's look yep. so that's where you know i got the whole fascination of those uh stories of lovecraft because of that monster and because of the real ghostbusters because they took mm -hmm. a lot from those Lovecraft stories. Yeah, know? Lovecraft inspired so many, oh, so many yeah. different genres ah, across the board. Across the board, everywhere, yeah. everywhere. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, and it's really fun to appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? And it's not just, and I mean, yeah, H.P. Lovecraft, he was kind of like an introvert. He was kind of in himself a little bit. But the stories like he us. wrote is kind very of. hard. Yeah. Sorry, buddy. Was it like us, kind of? <laughs> <laughs> But I just wanted to shout out Comic Man Andy in the chat. I think he hopped in here for a little bit. And actually, we have um, since Hialeah dropped out, uh, we have a very special guest, another con member of the Conquistador family, part of the mightiest panel of them all. Yes! There he is. What up? I'm late. <laughs> there he is. Nice. I got a book from Megacon. Hey. Hey. Oh, <laughs> Love it, Steve. Awesome. Awesome. How you doing, buddy? I've been watching, guys. I've been watching. Cool. Appreciate you, man. Yeah, we saw you in the chat. Yeah, I was watching. I just was watching yeah. my football team, and Jameis Winston gives me bad heart condition. So. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <man. laughs> Swear to God, he... He's great and he's awful all in the same time every game. <laughs> What's going That's on, Steve? Right, What's going on, Stape Up? What's going on, everybody? Uh, we in here talking about HP Lovecraft. HP <laughs> Lovecraft and some horror, some comic books, man. Yeah, I've been seeing all is. those horror books. Mm -hmm. Highly yeah. was busting them out before he had to roll out. Yeah. That's right. He had some things to do, take care of some uh some things on his Sunday. 
Um, yeah, I, I, mean, I got to get going too, guys. Yeah, I don't know if you guys were uh, going to keep showing off some books, but I was going to – yeah, end this stream pretty shortly. I know Steve just hopped in here, man. That's all good, man. I just want to say hello to the boys. Brother. Thanks for hanging out, Brother. man. We actually, uh, 90s jumped in here too, man. Well, I, gotta do, I got something to say. Oh, oh, Jeff, you uh, froze up a little bit. A second, he'll, he'll look yeah. back. Yeah, he'll look back up. Always good to see you, 90s. Yeah, I had a... Uh, that's something to uh, tell you guys about this uh, Mary Jane. Uh, there's a secret that. variant out there. The cover is haunting me, buddy. I keep seeing that cover on freaking. I still haven't got it yet. <laughs> I knew you saw that, that cover, Robert. I love that cover. <laughs> there's my Mary yeah. Jane alive and well. There's a, Not dead. There's, yeah, there's a secret variant, though. <laughs> yeah. There's a secret yeah. variant to that? There's a secret variant on this one. Oh, no. Yeah. Way. It's a. Uh, you know how these letters are are uh, right here, but it's yeah. in chalk. Like it's on the it's on the oh. you know cutscene cool. thing. It's actually in chalk. Nice, that's cool, man. So keep an eye know. out on it. If you guys see it, you guys might want to pick it up. Yeah, yeah. Yep. If you guys have, either, my, my it's shop probably because me. of Marvel's so cheap ass paper, paper, man. That's what it is, man. Yeah, agreed. Agreed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bro, yeah that's funny, man. You get the book. Agreed. Hey man, we're gonna send Stay Puff to Mars. We're out of ink. That's what happens. We're out of ink. <laughs> if you guys have yeah, one yeah, last yeah. book you want to show off, as we uh, say goodbye to everybody in the chat, thank you everybody for hanging out. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed no, the show, yeah, right. showcasing some uh, horror comics in uh, in celebration of this. Uh, Halloween season, the how keep the Halloween see, season so, alive. See, Jeff sickle with that damn cow book, man. You can't I get away from that it. book. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. that's a cool cover, Stay Puff. Yeah, Batman getting child down. <laughs> Zombie <Yeah>. King. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that. Yo, that is that is awesome. Stay hey, Puff. hey, the awesome. zombies yeah, like, like hey. That. The zombie, like, let me give you some zombie love, man. Love it. <laughs> yeah, that is great. And uh, this is a cow. Uh, Batman. <laughs> it's, it's, actually, it's actually his own dad, so that that makes it even more creepier, man. And it's in the style of all yeah. those old school yeah. horror comics with the with the faces in the circles. Yeah, super. I cool. even like the the curse on the side. Yeah, yeah. very cool. Super cool, man. Yeah. I love that, Jim. Hey, let me grab me a different book. <laughs> <laughs> Ghosts of Dracula, awesome book, man. Love that, Jim. That's really cool. Would you always give me the always give me the vampire? Now I'm gonna show you. Are you ready, guys? <laughs> Drum roll. Boom, 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 boom. Pay attention to the cover. Tentacles, hey, oh, tentacles in the eighth. Right there. Yeah. Weird war. Hey, Robert, there's something on Instagram that's called Tentacle Tuesday. Yeah, you, know, you, know, yeah. you know, you look up the hashtag, you'll see a lot of tentacles, man. We post <laughs> comics with, with that. <laughs> Tentacle Tuesday. That that could get a little uh, interesting. Yeah. Trust yeah. me, it's not a fetish. I like it's manga. <laughs> It's not a fetish. It's a story, you guys. <laughs> Honest to God. Steve, coming right, in right on time. I wanted to grab my, one of my Ooh, favorite DC yeah, covers. I really nice. like that. Nice. really like that, buddy. Boy, if I saw that cat, I'd be gone. <laughs> hey, yeah. hey, that's very close to this. Well, it's oh, yeah. not the cat, but... Yeah, that that's the cat skull left there. <laughs> getting bit up. Thank you, everybody, for hanging out. Everybody in the panel, the mightiest panel of them all. Thank you for uh, being here and for showcasing those horror books. It was an awesome time. Everybody in the chat, have a great rest of your Sunday, and we'll see you all on the next stream. Peace, guys. Peace out, y'all. Great one. <laughs>